on the 11th of May 2022 during a midweek service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries. The servant of God, Dr. Ian Lowe, gave a prophetic warning about a passenger plane crashing. The following is the video clip of the prophets. I was shown a vision of a passenger plane in distress. I saw it try a number of times to make an emergency landing. Human life must be preserved. Human life will be preserved if we as intercessors watch and pray. Let us watch and pray. So according to the Spirit of God, because I've been praying for this thing for some time on my own, when you see me come and share something of this sort, it's because I would have failed to prevail on my own. God will be wanting an arm. And an arm is never one person. It's a team of intercessors. Some are anointed by God to engage the supernatural realm in a way which is different from how God anointed me to engage the, the realms of the spirit. So God is inviting now us as a team, as intercessors. The event will happen. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. That the event will what? Happen. But it must not lead to the loss of human life, but its preservation. Why am I saying the event will happen? God will permit it to happen as a sign that the country in which it will occur, the time for leadership to change is imminent or near. Let us watch and pray. So, it's not something which people will think consciously. All of a sudden, the pilots will discover that the plane has developed a fault. It has developed a passenger plane, not a, a car plane. And then, they will decide to make an emergency landing. Where they make an emergency landing, God will be showing that leadership is just about to change. <laughs> Because the thing is a sign. If people die in that plane, it means the change in leadership will have bloodshed. If human life is preserved, it means the change in leadership will be peaceful. And God is saying, it's up to us as intercessors to release apostolic government into the realms of the spirit. So that when this inevitable event takes place. It will take place without loss of human life. So that when leadership is changing in that nation, it won't change with the bloodshed. If intercessors ignore this message or they criticize, hey, this one, like who born into Zakelo, you criticize, and then the emergency landing occurs and some people die in that plane when in Trump. Wherever the merchant's lending has taken place, it means leadership will change, but there will be bloodshed. This is what God showed me. We must watch and pray. That's one message in which we must watch and pray. So leadership is just about to change in that country. It's very obvious that I'm talking about a country where leadership does not change very easily. It's one of the countries where leadership does not change very easily. I'm trying to, to, to narrow, uh, to narrow the, the focus because the devil may cause so many merchants landings. You may discover if you go to Kuku and you say merchants landing, you, you will discover a story about emergency lending which took place today. We are not talking about minor emergency lending. We are, we are talking about something which will be reported internationally, which will be an international incident, which will be what? An international incident. And the governance system in the country that where this plane will make an emergency lending it's an autocratic government. It's an autocratic system of government. We are eliminating other emergency landings that may take place. So that if someone hears that 
some a family which was flying to, 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 to Victoria Falls, they made an emergency landing somewhere where there is no autocratic government. Or oh, a plane which was flying somewhere in the US from one state to another, a tiny plane of some billionaire or millionaire, it made an emergency landing at some airstrip. We are not referring to that. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an emergency landing of a commercial passenger airline, which will make an emergency landing in a country where leadership does not change easily. It will be a sign. God will be announcing through that sign. That leadership is just about what? To change. How will the leadership change? Will it change through bloodshed? If the people, some of the people in the plane, they die as they are trying to make an emergency landing, we are in Trump. It means leadership will change, but through bloodshed. Let us watch and pray. And now a small passenger plane carrying 11 people has crashed in a forest in central Cameroon. And rescue efforts are underway to locate possible survivors. The transport ministry said the cause of the crash and the identity of those on board are not clear yet. According to local media reports, the aircraft was flying from Yaoundé Airport to Belabo in the east of the country when air traffic services lost radio contact. Following an air and ground search, the aircraft was found in a forest not far from Nanga Eboko, around 150 kilometers northeast of the capital. The crash is the first major industry in this incident reported in Cameroon since 2007 when a Kenya Airways plane carrying 114 people crashed after takeoff from Douala, killing everyone on board. The servant of God, Dr. Ian Lowe, urges saints and intercessors the world of to pray for peace and calm in the nation of Cameroon and all other nations which are trouble spots. May the Almighty God bless you as you intercede.